what is up guys? I'm bringing you the 2006 Hummer H1. This was requested in my last Stupid Rides episode, which is my first one. If you guys haven't checked that one out, go check it out. It's the Celine Super Cab. It was pretty fun to drift with and um, it was really stupid also. But anyways, we're back into this one. This one got commented the most. I think I got five comments from people telling me to do this vehicle along with a bunch of other comments telling me to do a bunch of other vehicles, which I love how you guys are commenting, but I can't do all of your cars that you guys are commenting just because I picked the one that gets most commented. So guys, don't feel bad if your car isn't picked. It's just the ones that get commented the most that I pick, okay? But anyways, we're back into this. This has got to be my hardest drift car I've ever done. Not only is it all-wheel drive, which I'm so used to rear-wheel drive cars that all-wheel drive is like crazy for me right now. Like it's it's hard to get used to because I'm so used to rear-wheel drive that all-wheel drive kind of messes me up a bit. But I was still able to manage to drift in this thing and it is a freaking like, it's so hard because the car only like, or the truck, I mean, only has like 500 horsepower max. I don't understand. Like when I, this thing stock has 300 horsepower and it weighs 8,000 pounds. That's just ridiculous. That's it, this thing should have at least 500 horsepower stock. Like honestly, it's, it's stupid, but great car guys for the guys that comment to do this. It is very challenging for me. Got my Mario design on here. Um, I tried my best to drift with this thing. I tuned it as the best I could, and um, it's, it is what it is, you know? Like, you can't, not many people can drift in this thing, um, so I'm not really ashamed of myself. I tried my best. I still got some good good sliding going on, but it was more of me just hammering on that e-brake the whole time. I couldn't coast. Like, usually when I'm driving my rear-wheel drive cars, I can do the e-brake and then just coast along on the throttle where this thing if you want to do any kind of drifting you have to be on the e-brake all the time and i think that's what most all-wheel drive cars are like it's always usually use the e-brake most of the time just to get your drifts going but it was still um it was still pretty fun you know i had a lot of fun with this thing and it was a challenge so thank you guys for that please leave a comments below what car you want me to do next like i said the car that gets most commented I will do that car or truck or SUV, whatever. It's a stupid ride. That's what the series is about. It's just for fun. And um, tomorrow, guys, I'll be having my exotic drifting episode three. Yeah, it'll be episode three. So look out for that. And then Saturday, I'll be doing my regular, like, you know, drifting, like serious drift tunes that I usually do. So you guys will be able to see that as well coming up. And then I think Monday or no, I think Sunday, I will be doing another muscle car drifting episode. Um, the muscle car series doesn't get as much attention, but I still like to do it just for fun because I know some of you guys out there like that. And uh, I might do another sports car episode. I don't know that the sports car series wasn't going too well either. So I'm really considering maybe putting them together and uh, having them mashed up just because it's they're both not getting too many views. So I might as well just put them as one. But we'll see about that. Um, Anyways, right here I started to do pretty good. I got some good drifting going on. It was I went on, I find this part of the track pretty easy, and then um, over here I got a pretty good drift too. But uh, they're getting to the end of the video, guys. So please leave a like, comment what car you want to see next, and subscribe if you haven't already, because I will have a lot more videos, especially when Forza Five comes out. But yeah, so I'm gonna hit this corner right here, and I'm gonna flip it. So uh, at least we now we know um, the Hummer can flip. I found this pretty uh, hilarious. I tried to take that turn at 112 miles per hour in a 6,000 pound uh, SUV truck, whatever you want to call it, but I couldn't nail it. But anyways, guys, like I said, leave a comment below what car you want to see next and subscribe if you haven't already. Please like the video. Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys next time.